All right, guys, so we're back at it right now. First off, I want to thank all of the new subscribers, man. We just got a, a few new subscribers. I was going to say a boatload, but it's been a handful, a couple of handful of handfuls of new subscribers, and they've been coming into the comment section. They've been showing the love. I hope they've been hitting the like button, you know, that thumbs up button. But either way, I really do appreciate all of the support coming towards Channel MMA at the moment. I really love my Channel MMA family. So let's get into today's topic. All right, I just read one of the most, I don't know if this is sad or if it's just disturbing. I'm just going to say it's a little bit disturbing, but I read an article about Jessica Andrade. Basically, what's going on is she has been having to sell her clothes, her UFC clothes, like her gear, her free gear that she gets, or it's not really free, you know, they gave up their sponsors for that gear, but she's been having to sell that gear to make ends meet. She's been having to sell that gear to make ends meet, right? So uh, this is just what we, it's a term that said a lot, to make ends meet, and it's just self-explanatory. When the two ends, when you pull the string on one end, you pull the string on the other end, and it doesn't come together, sometimes you need another little piece of string. The two ends do not meet. There's a gaping asshole. Something is missing. So she's been having to patch that um, gaping hole up with revenue, with income from selling her clothes. It's, it's disturbing that a fighter has to do that. It's really, really disturbing that a fighter would have to do that. I'm reading the whole article and I'm just like, dang. You know, I knew it was hard up for Andrade because... Me personally, I really wanted Andrade to sit her ass down and wait for the fight with Rose. I really did. I wanted. I really want to see that Rose and um, Jessica Andrade fight. And even Jessica said that she wanted her to be up next. So I was down with it, you know. But Jessica wanted to fight. And she did say that she needs to fight now. We all knew what that meant. That meant that she needed the money. Okay, cool. You needed the money you know, you can't knock another person's hustle. What did, that's what Jay-Z said. He said you can't knock the hustle. So I'm not going to knock her hustle at the moment. I'm supporting Jessica Andrade. I'm excited about this matchup. You know, Jessica Andrade versus KK coming up next. She's not taking she's not taking light touches. I mean, she is at straw weight, but she's not taking light touches. So respect to Andrade. But, okay, this money situation is disturbing. It's disturbing. Jessica Andrade apparently has been making 48 and 48. So she, she's got 48 to show, 48 to win. We're talking about $96,000. And I hope I'm getting this number right. It's just off the top of my head. I read the article actually yesterday. To be fair, I read it yesterday. But I believe it was 48 and 48 that she makes. $96,000. She hasn't lost a fight in a long time. So we're talking about $96,000 that she makes per fight. Then she takes that money and she turns it into the Brazilian money, right? Now you're talking about, you know, she just multiplied all of that money times probably two. Probably to multiply the times two. And Brazil, all right, we're going to do a quick little econ class. Brazil does not tie their money to the U.S. dollar. So it fluctuates a lot. The, the, you know, one day it could be, it's just like Russian money. It just, it fluctuates a lot to the dollar. So I don't know if maybe she says, okay, well today the dollar isn't that. I could get more tomorrow. Maybe she holds on to some of her American money and then changes it over. But either way, she could probably get it two times more money in Brazil. I think that because when I got to the end of the article, I realized apparently she said that she was sitting in her. So basically she was saying that she was sitting in a training session or whatever, or a wrestling session or something at her gym. And the coach said, look, Jessica Andrade made a million dollars last year, a million Brazil, a million, you know, in Brazil currency, she made one million. And so she was thinking to herself, no, 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 I didn't make one million. I made almost one million. So apparently, I think it was like $240,000 is a million. So we're talking about four times as much money. We're talking about she, you know, when she takes the dollar back to Brazil, she now has four times. You know, she could trade, multiply that by four 
And that's how much she has in Brazilian currency. Okay. Then I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You made $240,000 last year. You know, you made $240,000 last year. I'm not sure why you can't make ends meet. Something's up. If you cannot make ends meet off of that, then somebody is robbing you blind. Somebody has seen you as the cockeyed fool and they are robbing you blind. And I will tell you where to check first. Check your accountant. The person who does, who has set up your business license because, okay, foreign fighters, basically America's, they're going to get theirs. They don't care how, I don't care how you slice it. America's getting their money off the top, off the rip. When I get my check, the government has already taken their cut. They, they have not worked not one hour and they have already taken their cut. America's getting there. So they're going to make sure that they get theirs out of that. Um, whatever money you made, they're going to make sure they get there. So, okay. Whoever set up your business license, whoever's doing your, your tax return, your American stuff here on the American side, whoever's doing that for you, check that person. It, I'm sure it's some sort of accountant who's doing it. Check that person. Check your gym. How much are you paying your gym? I understand that the gym got you to where you are, but how much should they really be? Should they be making all the money? If you're broke today, right, then it doesn't matter how much you've been winning. You have nothing to leave your family. If you got, if you, you know, knock on wood, God forbid, something happened to Jessica Andrade in her next fight, Million Dollar Baby Style. If she got million dollar babied in her next fight, she has nothing to give to anybody for them to be better off in their life because of the sacrifice that she made. So you need to check it. It's like, okay, great. Yeah, your gym got you here, but still they can't, you need something. You need some money. The ends got to meet. Jessica Andrade is too big of a star. Way too big of a star. If you're paying that much money to whatever your gym you're at, I don't know if she's at Novo Unia or not, but it's too much. It's too much. And that's the only thing I'm thinking is your accountant is robbing you blind. They're taking their 5% because they know that you don't know any better. And maybe your gym is robbing you blind. Okay. And then the next thing I would say is all when if you ever can recoup the money that somebody is stealing from you because it's happening. This is a, when people speak like this, I'm telling you, I've seen it before. Fraud. She is being, she is in dealing with fraud at the moment. Something is happening in her situation. We know that the UFC is not paying her enough. $96,000 and she was a contender, a championship contender. And I'm not saying she was like, you know, Yana Kunitskaya. She was moved up the rankings and fought her way up. She was a name. People knew Andrade. You know, she, people knew her. She was that type of contender. She should have, been, she should have made a flat rate of $200,000 for that fight, in my opinion. You know, one fifty dollars to $200,000 for that fight. No show win. No show win. None of that split money. Up front skis. Just like Gaethje said, up front skis money. You know, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to tell it like it is, man. She, one, she's not getting paid enough. And also somebody is digging in her pockets and she doesn't know about it. I, I just know this, guys. I know it. I really do. Now, after I read that article, it was very sad too, because the immediate reaction I had was somebody's robbing her. Um, yeah, so somebody's definitely taking money from her where she does not know it and she cannot see it the money is going from one bank to the next bank and then it's going to foreign money and then it's it's so easy when you're an accountant and I so I'll just tell you right I used to work in accounting for like I mean specifically this type of accounting for for a few years you know I hated it so I got out of it but when you're an accountant and when you're so good at m dealing with money Dealing with not really money because all of this stuff is not real. So it's all electronic, electronic funds. When you're good at dealing with electronic funds, you can actually make a dollar, one dollar, look like $30. No lie. 
No lie. You can make $1 look like $30. Fraud is an absolutely real thing. And it's ha it happens to businesses like it happens to businesses at least once a month. At least once a month, somebody is trying to get inside and try to figure out how can they manipulate your account? How can they skim some off the top? How can they skim some off the bottom? What, um, Wells Fargo was just in the news for scamming people. You know, Enron's been scamming. Scams, this fraud stuff is real. I'm telling you, anybody, people try it all the time. They will try it. And it's happening to Jessica Andrade, I believe it. I do believe it's happening to Jessica Andrade, but I'm going to move on from that at the moment because, you know, Jessica, you want to sell your clothes, sell your clothes. If you can't actually say, okay, wait a minute, at some point, somebody needs to ring the bell. Ding dong. Hello. You are a fighter and you made $200,000. Why are you broke? Now, if you're spending all your money, then we don't want to hear it. Then you just say, you know, I haven't been spending my money right. I drive a Bentley. You know, I drive a Bentley. I own a house in America. I own a, three homes in Brazil. I own a home in Italy. Oh, I um, I bought my girl like a, uh, okay, if you made $200,000, you should only be spending about $15,000 on a wedding ring. So I bought my girl about a $50,000 wedding ring or whatever ring, in gate, uh, whatever it is. If you're spending money willy-nilly, you know that. You'll just say, look, I finally got with a financial planner and we're getting on the right track. That's what she, that is probably what she would be saying. But she's not saying that. She's saying that she's broke as a joke and she has to sell her clothes to make ends meet. That's the only thing she's saying. I think somebody's skimming off the top. I actually do. And uh, that was the first thing that was a little bit disturbing to me. It was kind of like, dang, you know, because she was like, oh, we used to make we used to make the extra money from UFC. We used to make a little extra money from sponsors. Was she in there before sponsors? I believe she was. So we used to make a little extra money from, um, from sponsors. And she was talking about all of this other money that they so maybe she hasn't. But I just feel like Jessica Andrade is making way more money now. Than she was making before. Way more money now than she was making before. So it's like, I'm not sure how she can complain. Like, we used to be making this, we used to be making that. Well, you're making more anyways. So it's it's coming to you at all legit instead of on the back end. It's all legit. But you know, th that's on Jessica. If she wants to sell her clothes and say, this is what we got to do to make ends meet instead of saying, okay, one, I need to figure out how I can negotiate, sit down with my, my employer and negotiate a pay raise. I need to see how I can sit down with my accountant and see where the, you know, where I'm going wrong financially. I need to see where the money's going or I need to audit all of my accounts. I need to hire an outside service to come in and audit all of my accounts. You will figure if you ever had your account audited, you will find out so many things that would blow your mind. That would absolutely blow your mind. But it'll it'll just be people like me and you will find like five, six dollars. Dang, somebody took five, six dollars from me. So you know, thirty, forty dollars, dang. You'll find out little things like that, but when you're talking up when numbers are multiplied, you just have to multiply the fraud. It's hard to follow. It really is hard to follow. I think people like Jessica Andrade need to go in, get things audited, audit your accounts, figure out what you need to do, put a budget together and stick to it, you know, stick to it. But one thing I'll say that popped out about Jessica Andrade is, um, you know, she's talking about all of this right before the fight. She's talking about all of this right before the fight. I don't know if this, I hope this is not on her mind. Because if Jessica Andrade loses this fight against KK, they're not going to be wanting to pay her anymore. And she's back. You know, maybe Jessica Andrade is a pretty big name. So I'm thinking maybe one or two more fights until she fights the champ. But still, it's just, I don't know. The only way she's going to make good money is if, she be, if, is if Jessica becomes the champion. 
That's it. Or if she wises up and gets somebody to do some negotiating for her. Get a good manager. Not Malky. Don't get Malky. Get Ali. Ali will be out there fighting for your ass. He'll be throwing fists. He'll be on every show talking about you. He'll be... Ali will work. Ali will work, man. He will work. You may not like that guy, but that guy will work. That's what she needs. She needs somebody who's going to sit down and look at everything and make sure that you're comfy and cozy. The only person at that point... Ali will have things so straightened out for you that there's only going to be one person that'll be frauding you, taking a little bit off the top. And that'll be Ali himself. You know, I, I hate to say it like that, but that's just the truth. You know, that'll just be Ali himself taking a little bit here and there. You won't notice it happening, but it'll be happening. But at least it's not the bank and the UFC and your accountant and your, you know, sometimes you have to take the lesser of two evils in order to make it. And Andrade, it's time for her to make that decision. Anyways, guys, that's my long thoughts on Jessica Andrade's financial woes. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button.